Hey everyone, I'm working on sewing a little felt um, stuffed sloth brooch. Um, I've got my little eye patches on in my nose and I got this stuff at the Sizzix booth at Creativation. So I thought maybe you might like to join me while I keep working on it and sew on the face. And I could tell you a little about how I came across this project. So Creativation is this huge trade show for all the different crafts. And towards the last day, I was starting to look at stuff that maybe I wasn't quite so familiar with. Um, and there was a ton of scrapbooking stuff there and I haven't done that much scrapbooking. So I was talking um, to someone, I said, you know, I'm interested in learning a little bit more about that. And she told me, she said, go over to the Sizzix booth because Sizzix is a company that's been around for a very long time and they're well respected um, and they can give you the lowdown. So I went over to the Sizzix booth and there was this really sweet woman who was doing these make and takes of little sloth uh, felt brooches and she gave me all this stuff to make it um, to go since it was towards the end of the show so we didn't really have time for me to sit and do it there. And so Sizzix, if you've heard of them, it's probably been about their paper cutting. So they make these machines with dies and you like put down the die, you put down your paper on top of it, you put down something like this plastic board on top of that and you just kind of crank it through the machine and it die cuts out the paper shapes for you. Um, which is super, super cool when you're doing paper projects. And what she showed me is actually that these Biggs dies um, not only can cut through paper, they can cut through fabric. So that's how all these felt pieces for the sloth were cut out. She actually did it using the Sizzix machine. And it's really totally easy. It's not like you don't it's not a whole like computer software complicated thing. It's just a you sandwich the stuff together, roll it through and you're done thing. And I just thought it was so cool um, that this little felt project, the pieces were just so easy to cut out with the machine. There's a list of machines here. Um, like it, you don't need all these machines to make the sloth. You need the die and then you need like the one machine to put it through along with obviously like the felt and the sewing needle and stuff like that. So I was thinking like that this, in addition to being fun, is really great if you wanna do a craft for a group. Cause I've done kids crafts before and something like this is something that you could have a kid do um, if you didn't want them sewing with a needle because they were little they could use like fabric glue to stick it on but the main thing that keeps me from doing this at like my kid's birthday party is the thought of having to cut out like 14 sets of eye patches and 14 noses or you know something like that like that would just take forever but with the Sizzix machine you could do it in like 20 minutes if that because you just sandwich the felt, roll it through, cut. Sandwich the felt, roll it through, cut. I also thought it was really cool. Um, she showed me some of the other ones they have. So in addition to the sloth, they have things like a narwhal and a sea turtle. And um, I was so impressed. They had this fabric doll this sewn fabric doll and all the pieces for the fabric doll were cut out using a Sizzix die. That was just like the most amazing thing to me. And if I get a Sizzix machine, which is totally going on my like wish list, then I think the fabric doll is gonna be the next thing that I wanna do. I'm just doing a basic running stitch around to attach my little sloth head. I'm never quite sure if it's pronounced sloth or sloth, but I uh, like to go with sloth. The other thing I was thinking of is if I wanted to do like a themed birthday party 
this would make it so easy because I could cut out the felt pieces for the project, but then I could cut out like paper versions to make little place cards and like write the name there. So that's the thing with the dies is it's not just a die for paper or a die for fabric. It's like one die that'll cut through any of that. So you could totally have like little paper sloth decorations or narwhals. We love narwhals too. Um, and have it coordinate with the, uh, the project. I was even thinking you'd have to work it a little way. The die has all the pieces on like one die slot. But if you were careful with what you covered, if you punched through cardstock and kept the outer piece and just covered the pieces you want, I could totally see using it as a stencil on a cake and making like a sloth cake with, you know, sprinkle the brown sprinkles on the stencil and then cover up the body and then move like the face part into position and then sprinkle little white sprinkles for the face. And that would just be adorable, like to have everything kind of coordinate. Because you see that online, and if you've ever gone down the Pinterest hole, um, they have these like massively adorable, cute, coordinating things. And it can take you forever and ever and ever to try and find all that stuff that coordinates for a party or for room decor. But if you have the Sizzix die, then you can do all of that with the one die and you can get like all the coordinating parts um, together. I was thinking it'd be cute if you had green napkins to like roll the green napkin up like a tree and then kind of like tuck the sloth over it. Like my sloth is climbing up my green napkin tree. Do, 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 do. Sloths are pretty popular right now. I have to admit, when they first came out, I like wasn't crazy about them. Um, but if you're into science fiction or fantasy books, there's a series of books called The Iron Druid. And in the last book in the series, there's a character that's a talking sloth. Um, and that made me fall in love with sloths because now every time I see a little sloth, I think, oh, it's slow mo. Um, but yeah, this is just a fun little project. And you know, people ask me why I don't do more sewing. Um, and there are generally two reasons I don't do more sewing. One is I prefer hand sewing. Um, I cannot crash on the couch with a sewing machine. I can crash on the couch with um, a crochet hook. But the other thing is, I'm gonna be honest, I hate cutting out the fabric. Um, cutting out the fabric just isn't like it's always time consuming and takes forever and that's not the fun part I want to be doing um, but this was so cool because with the Sizzix cutting out the pieces took like a minute and then I could get to the sewing and I gotta admit, using like the little hand crank machine kind of makes the cutting out the pieces a lot more fun than like trying to get the detailed shapes with scissors. So that is definitely a plus for the Sizzix. This is intended to be stuffed. So I have the back piece and I can sew them together and stuff it and put it on a pin. But now I'm wondering if I should like just take this piece and sew it onto a bag as like a patch. Like once I'm done with the face, just lay it on the bag and I can sew around it. Um, the truth is if you're a machine sewer, you could even do that with a machine. So not only could you have your sloth napkin rings, your sloth cake, you could have little sloth decorated um, tote bags. Or goodie bags for everyone to bring home. You know what? Forget making this as a kid's party. Oh, telephone. I'm totally ignoring the telephone because crafting is way more fun than the telephone. Um, so yeah, I was saying this would be cool as a kid's party, but forget that. 
I want a sloth party. I want, um, I should totally do that. Throw myself a sloth themed birthday party for my next birthday. You would all be invited. But yeah, so this is just a cute little project I'm working on. It's something neat um, that I discovered that the Sizzix people showed me at my creativation trip and I wanted to share it with you. So yeah, if you're looking for something fun and neat, check this out. If you want to see some other neat crafty stuff, um, including a lot of crochet and knitting stuff, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can go ahead and like me on Facebook. You can also check out my blog at thelindsaylife.com. Have a good afternoon.